Just a day after three people were injured in a stabbing spree downtown, Seattle police met with council members to discuss how they keep neighborhoods safe. The area downtown where the stabbing occurred is one of seven named for emphasis patrols in May. I know that you all have a very in-depth, data-rich, detailed uh, presentation, and nonetheless, I have uh, several questions that I feel have still been unanswered. Councilmember Lorena Gonzalez grilled police and city departments about their work, which they believe is working. I believe we're trending in the right directions. Uh, generally, calls for service are down. Uh, officer activity has increased in most of the neighborhoods, and that's what we want to see. Assistant Chief Eric Greening explained these patrols are not just about more policing, but also addressing chronic complaints like weeds, garbage, graffiti, and litter by partnering with city offices. We can address the graffiti, address the overgrown bushes, improve the lighting, and make everyone feel that the neighborhood has some sense of sort of social cohesion and that the city has a grip on what's happening in that neighborhood. Research has shown that it leads to increased feelings of safety and decreased low-level crime. The department says year-to-date crime is down citywide 11 percent. It really showed us that this model uh, can be effective and is effective when we're, um, you know, breaking down the silos of government. And though council members had many questions about what qualifies as a good return on investment. We're going to continue to get questions about why are we doing this while we are also not feeling a difference in our communities and in our neighborhoods as a result of these investments. Police say the emphasis patrols will continue for now, though they say no plan can prevent every crime like the stabbings yesterday. We live in an open and free society, so it's hard to predict something like what happened yesterday, but we want to make sure we have appropriate staffing numbers that we can hopefully through presence deter that and also be able to quickly respond to it like we did yesterday. And in addition to those seven emphasis areas, SPD is also working on several summer areas as well. That's Alki, Golden Gardens, and Capitol Hill. They expect to hear more from the, those communities in the coming weeks about whether they're noticing a difference. Live in Seattle, Michael Crow, King 5 News.